The plan was that the next video in the Critiquing Experience series was going to be about writing groups, critique groups, writer support groups, writers, chapter exchange groups, that sort of thing. So I recorded the video and it turned out quite a bit too long and quite a bit not very good. So I got the idea, I'm going to go ahead and split it in three sections, three so far, and go from there. The first video of the three, or maybe more, is going to be about what to look for in a critique group. My first suggestion is to make sure you join a group that features the genre you want to write in. Way back when, I wanted to improve my science fiction writing. So I joined what I thought was a science fiction group. Well, partially it was. As I found out once I started participating, that the majority of the participants, I'd say maybe like 55 to 65 percent of them, were fantasy writers. Now, I've heard both the for and against arguments about why a lot of people like to lump fantasy in with science fiction. I don't particularly think that's a good way to go, but a lot of people do it. So I decided overall, let's just go ahead and see where this association with this group goes. Now, it, it didn't take me long to realize that I felt like I was shortchanging the fantasy writers when I would critique their stories. You know, I was able to say, okay, yeah, this makes sense. This does not. I'm not sure what this character is talking about or what he's up to. But mostly it was, I didn't know much of anything about the fantasy world. I didn't know about the mystical creatures. I didn't know about dragons. I didn't know about the magic rules. So I couldn't critique on those things, which meant that my critiques of those stories were kind of thin. And about the same time, I realized that the fantasy writers who were critiquing my science fiction stories were kind of doing the same. The reviews were kind of anemic in a way. One of the participants went so far as to just announce to the group, yeah, it was a good story. I, I, there's nothing I can say about it except that it's a good story. I thought that was kind of cheap and I felt ripped off. But I started thinking about, okay, how do they feel about what I'm doing? Maybe they're experiencing the same issue I am. They don't know enough about the science world. They don't know enough about physics to know even what to say about what I'm talking about. And I said, okay, I understand. But I got enough good reviews, whether I like what they had to say or not, that made being in that group worthwhile. It could have been better, but I learned quite a bit. Another one I think is kind of important is join a critique group where the participants are at the same basic writing level as you are. I found a group that touted themselves as aspiring writers. Now, in hindsight, I found out aspiring is a uh, loosely defined term for some people, but I joined anyway. Now, as it turned out, there were a couple writers in that group that were quite a bit higher than the rest of us. I mean, it was just a matter of time before they broke big. And for the most part, they didn't talk down to anybody, but they offered insight as to things that they've already discovered that we were there to learn. And that was kind of valuable. I also noticed a few writers who were a bit lower than the rest of us. It's, they didn't quite 
understand how to put together decent sentences or to, how to get their thoughts communicated to the rest of us in a clear way. Some of them just didn't have much of an imagination, but they were there to learn, they were there to make an effort, and I gave them a fair review. Being in that group was giving me a view of my entire writing journey. Past, where I used to be, see them struggling with the same things I did. Present, I hope I got better. I got some good compliments, so maybe I did. And future, where I wanted to be, and I paid attention to what those writers had to say. So, I didn't stay in that group for very long, but I do remember I learned quite a bit. Be aware of this disclaimer. The bits of advice offered in this video are the sole opinions of the host author. Not to be taken as gospel, not to be followed to the letter without personal variation on your part. I'm going to have to read this one. And one should always take personal responsibility for following the aforementioned advice, as if said advice was your idea in the first place. These bits of advice are meant as suggestion, as artistic motivation, as artistic inspiration. Or you can simply accept the fact that I'm having a whole lot of fun doing these videos. Well, that's basically all I've got to say this time around told you this was going to be a short video and there'll be more on the way maybe two more maybe more than that but until then well you know the drill go write something if you don't write go read something or even better if you know someone who is trying to write and could use a helping hand even if you don't think you're qualified just the average person who loves to read makes a good critique every once in a while. Do that person a favor. Help them out. That's what we're all here for. And speaking of helping out, help me if you would please make friends with the YouTube algorithm. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, tell others about it if they're in a writing position. That'll help all of us out. That'd be kind of cool.